Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone or migrate your operating system drive to a new drive so that way you could uh, maybe either put it in another computer and boot to it or kind of have a backup or let's say your hard drive is failing and you want to put everything on a, a brand new one to keep it going again, that kind of thing. So we have this uh, Windows 11 computer here, so let me show you what we got for uh, drives here. So you probably used disk management before. So we have the C drive with Windows, 80 gigs. Then we have this brand new disk that we put in there called New Windows with 100 gigs, and there's nothing on it. Okay, so we're going to use this tool called Niobe Partition Editor. There's a free version and paid for version. We're going to use the free version because it'll do this procedure for free. All right, so once you open it, you can see we've got the same kind of layout here with our disk zero, with the C drive, with Windows. 80 gigs and our new one here. So we're going to go to the Migrate OS wizard. And we're going to pick the destination drive, which is our new Windows drive here. Select destination disk, next. And then um, if you have anything on here, it's going to be erased. So you got to you pick this option, delete all partitions on a destination disk. So I'm assuming this new disk will be uh, clear, so you don't have to worry about it. So you can check that option, click next. So now we need to pick our partition with Windows on it, which is this guy here, the NTFS C drive right there, and it's 80 gigabytes. So so here tells you the volumes, volume size, space before, space after, so it looks good. So we're going to click Next. Now it says, when migration finished, restart your computer and go to your BIOS and change your boot order. So when this is done, we'll remove the old Windows drive, so there's just the new Windows drive in there and boot it up and see what happens. So we're going to click Finish. So it's got to lock the volumes to make sure you don't have any file explorer open, windows open or any programs open when you do this. And now, in order to do it, you have to do one more step, and that's click on Apply. So one operation pending, close all other applications, and click OK. So this is going to take some time because it's got to copy everything over. So when that's done, uh, we'll be back and we'll see what happens. OK, so it says one operation has been executed successfully. So we'll click on OK. So here's our original C drive. Here's our new one. Uh, so you 62% of the old one, 64% of the new one. So let's uh, go ahead and I'm going to shut down the computer. I'm going to take out this old drive and just leave the new drive in there. So this is a virtual machine, so it'll be really easy to do. So if this was your physical machine, you'd actually you know take out your old Windows drive and leave the new one in there and you know put it on the first SATA port or whatever so you could boot to it. So I will do that and be right back. All right, so we've got a Windows screen there, or Windows logo, I should say. All right, so we've got our login screen, so let's log in and see what happens. All right, so we're logged in, so let's check out File Explorer, see how our C drive looks. So that looks good, except one thing I do notice here is we have these extra drives. Looks like it gave drive letters to the... Uh, those other smaller partitions. So let's go back into Niobe here. All right, so let's see, we have the E, F, and G, nothing saying needs to be formatted. And E has this EFI boot folder in it. So let's, can we change the drive letter here? And none. And this one change drive letter to none. And this one here, there is no change drive letter. Let's apply this uh, settings to see if this actually works here. Okay. All right, so go back to this PC. We still have the C, and then we still have this E drive that it made from this partition here. And you apparently cannot get rid of the drive letter on this one for some reason. All right, so uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen every time, if that's going to happen to you. So you could give this a shot and see how this works for you. So we'll probably do another video with the clone disk wizard and see if that does a better job of... Uh, cloning everything without making these extra drives, but otherwise it seems to be okay.
All right, so like I said, you may or may not get that problem with the uh, extra drive letters, and if you do, you could remove the drive letters from these, and maybe you, you won't have this problem like I did. So this may vary depending on how you're doing, maybe something with the virtual machine. So give it a shout if you want to see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.